Let's look at how to start using Neuler and Neo4j Browser for managing your graph algorithms workflow. Since we previously added more nodes and relationships to the database, we must refresh Neuler to ensure that all nodes are known. Neuler is a great way to start your graph algorithm analysis. For this demonstration, we will use the degree centrality algorithm to detect the number of direct connections a node has. The degree centrality algorithm is in the centralities group of algorithms. We select the centralities group of algorithms, then we select the degree algorithm. We select the person label and the helps relationship type for our graph. We leave the remaining settings with their default values. Then we run the algorithm. In the table view, we see the calculated degree for each node, which is the number of direct connections to these nodes, since we use the default orientation of reverse. We can look at the data in Neo4j Browser, where Michael has three incoming relationships and Alice has two. After you have run an algorithm, you can modify it by returning to the Configuration tab. Here we click Edit Configuration so we can modify the parameters for running this algorithm. We select a different orientation for the relationship, Natural, meaning that we follow the direction in the graph. With this change, we run the algorithm and see different table results. Here we click Code to see the generated code for running this algorithm for the anonymous graph. This code includes the parameter settings, running the algorithm, and retrieving the nodes from the graph. We can also examine the generated code using a named graph. Notice that it generates a name for the graph. The generated code includes setting the same parameters, creating the named graph, running the graph algorithm using the named graph, retrieving the nodes, and finally dropping the, main, the named graph. We can copy the generated code as a browser guide. And here is our browser guide where we set the configuration parameters. We execute the code to set these parameters. Here is the code for running the algorithm using an anonymous graph. And here is the code for running the algorithm using a named graph. In your graph algorithms analysis workflow, you would most likely use a meaningful name for the named graph. Let's create the named graph called Person Degrees. Next, we modify the code to run the algorithm using the Person Degrees in Memory Graph. Having this named graph enables you to keep the graph you are working on in memory and re reuse it for other algorithms. Next, we execute the code in the browser guide to retrieve the nodes from the graph. During your graph algorithms workflow, if you are using name graphs, you may want to get a list of them. You do so by calling gds.graphs.list. And finally, you can remove the name graph from memory by calling gds.graph.drop, giving it the name of the named graph you want to drop. This concludes our look at how to start using Neuler for managing your graph algorithms workflow.